Now, pacemakers are well known for treating heart conditions, but now doctors are also using them to treat the brain with life-changing results. They were all living very stunted, unhappy lives. Checking that the taps are off, um, the switches are off, um, ev that everything is facing the right way, the house is, so the house to, is not going to burn down. People with rare diseases should not be ignored, particularly if you can help them. It's a simple medical device that's been around for decades, now reimagined yeah. and changing people's lives. Yeah. And it worked. It's the first time something's worked. Nanette Vardy Forth has been living with obsessive compulsive disorder for decades. She started to notice different behaviours from the age of five. Wait, I just thought I was strange all, all through your childhood. Yeah, I didn't know what was wrong. And I had a little breakdown one day, and my mother took me to the doctors, and he diagnosed it straight away as OCD. Nanette had to religiously do tasks in sets of four or thoughts of doom would overwhelm her. So you keep repeating and repeating the checking, hoping that feeling goes away. It doesn't go away, it just lingers. She even feared if she didn't get everything right, something bad would happen to her husband, Gary. I was kind of overwhelmed with that because I thought, you know, I'm quite capable of taking care of myself, but... Um... Her having that concern obviously put a bit of pressure on me, thinking that um, what, what's, what's, where, where's it coming from, what's, what's going to happen. That's the feeling, and it's overwhelming. Then came along a new clinical trial placing pacemakers in the brain to treat OCD. I'm so desperate to try anything. You'll try anything when you're in that situation. The big part of the problem with OCD is the anxiety that goes along with having to want to do these things and having to do them to relieve that anxiety. Professor Punkit Saar from the Queensland Brain Institute was part of the trial which treated 10 severe OCD patients. Rather than having to do something over and over again because you feel awful about it, that awfulness is controlled. The trial worked by placing probes into a specific part of the brain. The patients were awake during the surgery, given tasks and shown photos which triggered them, so the surgeons knew they were in the right area. The probes were then attached to a pacemaker-like device placed in the abdomen, which constantly stimulates the brain. And on occasion, we test stimulated and people felt a great calm come over them. And some people felt great anxiety, so we knew we were in the right circuit. Neurologist Professor Peter Silburn helped perform the surgeries, which had positive results in nine of the ten trial participants. Right. But when people have got these intractable illnesses, that you've tried the drugs, you've tried all the other therapies, and then you can come along and go, watch it change in an instant, it's, it's a different world. Their lives have done a complete 180 degree. Turn. Dr Philip Mosley was the psychiatrist monitoring the patients throughout the trial. He says while the treatment doesn't remove the OCD completely, it relaxes the anxiety that goes along with it. Are they now able to sit with the thoughts, not respond with their compulsions and go about their day-to-day -day lives? But all the doctors believe there's so much more to be done. A new trial just started using the same therapy on severe anorexics. And so a little device like that is treating OCD in patients? A little device like this is treating OCD. Uh, we hope to be anorexia, we hope addiction and certainly depression and it's already been well established for Parkinson's and tremors and dystonia. And these are some of the sickest people in Australia and are living miserable lives and suffering, and we can help them. For Nanette, it's been life-changing. Her life is no longer ruled by OCD. Today, she's getting a new battery for the pacemaker that will be rechargeable and serve her for years into the future. She just hopes it can soon be made available to many more people. It's like a new lease of life that they've given me and I'm so appreciative. I think the governments uh, will see the advantage of this, but we need it to everyone to know it's a therapy that can be applied to different conditions. Isn't it incredible? And you can find more information on the Brain Pacemaker trial on our website.